today we're gonna to be going on a trip from Bratislava to Zielina and I'm gonna show you what the city of Zielina looks like. Now there are eight regions in Slovakia, Zielina being the main city of the Zielina region and so today we're gonna to get there by train and I'm gonna get some uh, traditional Slovak food there and I'm just gonna show you a bit of what the city looks like so I think we're gonna have a lot of fun and well, let's let's get to the tram stop so that I can get to the uh, to Hlavna Stanica, and then we'll start our trip. So let's go. So first I have to take a uh, tram to get to the main railway station and it looks like um, that's going to be uh, tram 7. We're starting at uh, Bienirska and we're going to be going to Hlavna Stanica. So tram 7 at uh, stop A. I already have been to Zielina once at least before, yeah just once. Uh, and that was last year, but I didn't record it, so I just wanted to go there uh, and show you guys what it looks like. The time that I went there, it was the same time of year, it was January, and uh, there was snow there. So it snowed here in Bratislava maybe a few days ago, but as you can see, there's no snow on the ground anymore. So um, I guess we'll find out if there's snow in Zielina, so we're going to see. We're going to wait for the next tram now. Okay, so this is tram 7. And you can see there, we're gonna go from Pioneerska all the way to Hlavna Stanica. So let's just go ahead and wait for the tram now. All right, here comes tram seven. Okay, let's get on the back. The next stop is Ursini. The next stop is Brumenta. Okay. So there's a lot fewer people here than I would have expected. There's no one right here, so interesting. This is kind of cool, right next to all the trams. But yeah, so uh, we're at Hlavnistanica right now. Um, I'm pretty early for my uh, train. I think the train's leaving at like 9.27. And what time is it right now? Let me check. <laughs> right now it's... 8.36, so I have uh, about an hour to kill. Um, I think what we'll be doing in the meantime is I'm just gonna be showing you um, a bit of Hlavna Stanica. So uh, there's a lot of like vending machines and shops and uh, even some restaurants here. So I thought that'd be kind of cool to, you know, walk around and show you that a bit, so. Enjoying the escalator for the moment. <laughs> All right. So here we're in the station. And actually, I'm gonna go out this way so I can show you the front. Hold on. So all this is like the main part of Love Nastanica. Um, 
there you can see the facade of the building. Um, I heard someone say that uh, that um, a lot of the slow locks, like don't like the way it looks, and I mean, it's a it's a building. I mean, it can be designed better, perhaps. Um, but this is it. This is where like so many buses uh, stop here, so people can go and get on the trains. And I don't know if you can see from here, but um, it says a uh, restaurant in a few different languages and welcome in a few different languages, like English, uh, Slovak, German. Uh, I'm assuming that's like Russian or Ukrainian over on the left. And uh, well, without further ado, let's go inside. You can see a lot of shops like this with burgers, sandwiches, other food, sodas. And so this is what it looks like here. So we have some time to kill. So why don't we look at some of the vending machines for now? So as you can see here, there are a lot of vending machines and definitely a lot of coffee vending machines. Now I'm not really hungry or thirsty at the moment, so I'm not going to um, get any, but I would definitely recommend uh, if you use these, it's preferable to use cash just because it can be like a simpler process. Like uh, you might have trouble uh, using the card, like maybe you can't like read the system, like there's some English on there, but um, it is easier to use cash, so be prepared to have some uh, some coins with you. I know in the States and airports and other similar places, we do have uh, coffee vending machines, but um, I think these are really cool because look at all the options uh, of different types of coffee you can get, and like look how inexpensive it is. I mean, it's a small cup, but it's like white coffee, cappuccino, mochaccino, uh, lattes, like all kinds of things. So if you ever come here and uh, you have some time to kill, they have like even like pizza restaurants here. It's like a pizzeria. And then there are, of course, like little shops like this that sell like drinks, uh, snacks, like sandwiches things like that. Here's also another machine to where you can buy tickets in case you don't have the app or maybe this is uh, more convenient in, in a way. So it's a machine where you can get tickets. And um, something that uh, not a lot of people have done is gone to the uh, upper floor of Lavna Stanica. Um, it uh, might be nice to go up here like if you're waiting for a long time because not too many people come up here. So you can get a cool overhead view of the whole station. Well, um, also another thing that I wanted to show you before I go to my platform is um, there's this, it's not a restaurant, it's just as like a small cafe where you can get like, you know, coffee and some small food items, but it only has uh, 1.3 stars on uh, the Google map reviews. And I've heard and read some comments that it's because like the lady's like super rude. So uh, I don't know if you can see the place behind me very well, but um, if you're coming here and it's your first time, maybe don't go to this place because the lady's probably gonna be like super rude. And um, there was one time uh, when my girlfriend Adska and I, when we went there, and uh, Adska was speaking Slovak with her, and she was very rude. <laughs> so anyway, uh, right now we need to go to platform three. So we're gonna go down here underground. And we can see a lot of people coming off one of their trains on platform two. And again, shows you train times and destinations. So, this is what it's like at, uh, Club Nastanisa. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm speaking quiet, quietly right now because, well, everyone's quiet, no one's talking, so it's very calm right now, quiet. And uh, we're going to be waiting for the train, so I still have about a half an hour to kill. Alright, so while I'm waiting, um, I think I may have changed my mind on uh, getting a snack and a drink. So I'm going to use one of these vending machines 
and uh, I'm gonna get the snack first and then a coffee afterwards. So uh, here you can see the selection. Um, and they even have sandwiches in here, which is kind of funny. Uh, but I think I might go for the method one, the chocolate mint one. It's uh, something that I like. So that's uh, 4D. So 4D. So I've been having some trouble using my card with uh, these vending machines. So I'm just gonna go ahead and try it again. So large coffee with milk or cappuccino. I'll go for the cappuccino. So um, attach card and then cappuccino. I think it accepted it. I hope. Oh, yep, it's making it. So you can see <laughs> it's making my cappuccino. That's kind of neat. Here, let me go ahead and lift this. So there you can see coffee from a vending machine in Halavna Stanitsa. Just gonna go ahead and grab that. So look at that. A good little cute cappuccino. All right, now I'm gonna see if I can get um, the Metabar. So the Metabar, I'm actually, uh, I have a one euro that I'm gonna use for that. Maybe I have to hit it again. Okay, there it goes. Do I get my change? Any change? Yes, 20 cents and a Metabar. So I have a Metabar and a little cappuccino. So, I'm gonna go ahead uh, and enjoy these two things while I wait. Uh, I still have some time to kill. But uh, then we're gonna be getting on the train and going to Gielena, so get excited. <laughs> okay, so this should go without saying for the coffee and the minty, chocolatey, sugary goodness is an unbeatable combination. You have to try it when you come here. Also, when you come to Love Nastani, so there's like this really good uh, bakery that's kind of hidden. So you can see a lot of good things that they have. Like, look at that. It looks really good and it smells really good in there too. So um, if you're wanting baked goods, also come here to Love Nastani. <laughs> Also, do you see this? Now that yellow bar, uh, it might be difficult to see, but it says Regio Jet, and that um, is maybe, well, that's another train company, basically, and uh, the orange one, which I told you in a previous video where I talked about uh, a few transportation apps you need to know about in Slovakia, uh, Regio Jet, uh, to my knowledge, it is um, more of like a general Central European, uh, train so like they go to like Czech Republic Austria Hungary and Poland if I'm not mistaken uh, That I'll definitely have to like look into when I have a moment and uh, maybe someone who's more familiar can like correct me in the comments section But uh, I'm pretty sure Regio jet is more of like a central European uh, train company. Okay, and so I'm going back down now to uh, The underground to get to uh, platform 3 Right now it's about 9.10, so I've got 17 minutes uh, until my train departs. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and wait at the station now. It seems like a good time for that. All right, well, here comes my train. I'm waiting here for a little while now. I think I'm gonna go ahead and uh, sit more towards the back, so I'm gonna walk this way.
I'm in the train now, and I did not uh, get a reserved seat. So a lot of people get like their seats reserved, but not everyone. Um, it's cheaper to not, obviously. Um, but uh, if you get a reserved seat, then you know you have your spot. So if you uh, get the cheaper ticket, like I did, like I think my ticket was uh, nine euros and thirty cents. Um, uh, what can happen sometimes is you'll find an empty seat and you'll sit down, which is fine. Uh, but then someone later on, maybe in a different city or something, who's coming onto the train, will go over to your spot and they'll say, "Hey, this is my reserved seat. Uh, I, I like it now." So then you basically just have to like get up and move and find somewhere else to sit. So uh, for right now, I'm in the hallway, um, but I'm gonna go see if there's like an empty spot that I can just sit down and relax for the time being because uh, to get to Shilina from Bratislava, it's uh, I think it's like about like a two-hour um, trip. So I'm gonna go ahead and try and find a spot to sit down and then you're gonna see me coming off the train a little bit later so you won't have to sit through uh, the train ride itself, just sitting and waiting. So um, anyways. Well, I got kicked out of the seat that I was sitting in because uh, like I mentioned earlier, someone had uh, a reservation where I was sitting, so I had to get up, which is fine, but um, uh, for right now, I'm just kind of in this uh, uh, room that's kind of between, uh, well, it, it, it's at the end of the train cart, and then you can see this room here, this door opens, and then this is right between uh, both the train cars, and um, uh, I, I checked so no one's in here, but uh, that's it. Uh, that means that is like the bathroom or the toilet and I'll just show you real quick like what the toilet looks like. So you go in and it's a really tiny room, tiny toilet, uh, and then if you ever need to wash your hands you have to pull this red lever, some soap's gonna come out and then uh, you can wash your hands right there. And uh, it's kind of a funny bathroom tour but you can even open the window and look outside for a moment get some fresh air so that's kind of neat so um i'm gonna get out of the bathroom and uh, i'm gonna go ahead and walk around and try and find like a new uh spot to sit in but uh we just passed uh Trenchin and we're uh, much closer to Jelena, so we're almost there In a moment, I'm gonna be coming off the train and we're gonna uh, see what the town looks like. All right, and we're here uh, in Gilana. Gotta uh, som the Gilana. So I think I'm actually going the wrong way. Let me go this way. Um, so we're here. Uh, I've been here once before, uh, and I can notice it is, uh, it's colder here than it is in Bratislava. Um, when I was in Bratislava checking the weather here, uh, the temperature, it said today was to be like uh, minus two degrees Celsius to zero degrees Celsius. So it's like basically freezing or like just below freezing. But um, uh, the main part of town, like the kind of town center uh, is very close to uh, the train, or the train station is very close to the town center, I should say. Um, so I'm gonna be going through the uh, the Gilena station and we're gonna check out like what the city looks like. So let's go. All 
right, so here we are uh, in Jelena. So it looks pretty cool. Looks like there's a, a lot of shops, a lot of places to get food nearby. Um, now, uh, there was that one viewer from some video that was uh, uh, mentioning, uh, you know, asking where are the good uh, meat places. And uh, for those that are interested in um, very meat heavy diets, if you ever come to Jelena, there's this place called uh, Butcher's Bits, uh, right as you get off the uh, train station. So that's pretty cool. Um, so I'm, I'm not gonna get food there today, but uh, I looked at their menu online earlier today and they've got a lot of good things like uh, pulled pork, grilled chicken, uh, beef, all kinds of good stuff. So, uh, so far the, uh, the city here, it looks like it's fairly lively. Um, and let's go to the, uh, there's like a big courtyard uh, that I went to last time. So let's go ahead and try and find that. Uh, right there's a kebab place. Um, kebabs are very popular. It's like a Turkish sandwich. And of course, there's also pizzas. So these pizzas look really good. Classic Hawaiian. Can't go wrong with pineapple on pizza. I know that can be very divisive for some people, but I am uh, definitely pro pineapple on pizza. So as you can see on this uh, street, which looks like it's um, for p people walking, like pedestrians only, uh, there are tons of shops all over the place. So um, there are tons of like clothing stores, places to get food, uh, drug stores. Um, uh, a lot of places that like kind of have like a very niche like specialty and things like that. Some banks, um, places to get drinks, all kinds of stuff. So uh, we're coming up on the um, like the downtown courtyard area of Gilana. So that's kind of a cool area to see. So let's go ahead and check that out. So this place, it says uh, me uh, Messiarstvo. Um, I'm guessing that just means like butcher shop. So as you can see, there's like a lot of like good meats in there and uh, prices for some food items. Also something that I'm noticing that you can see behind me and um, even back there is that there are some businesses that are just uh, closed down and almost look abandoned. So it's not like too many places like that, but there are some uh, businesses that are just closed right now. And today it's a Wednesday just about in the middle of the day. Um, so they should be open, but they're not. So they're abandoned, I'm, I'm guessing. And definitely something else that you'll notice in uh, the bigger cities in Slovakia is they'll oftentimes they'll have like a really big sign that says the city's name. So at night, this looks like um, the lights will light up and it just says Jelena, like the name of the city. So that's kind of cool. I, I I haven't really seen that in Bratislava, but I know that uh, the city Ternava also has something like this, and probably the others uh, have it too. But um, I'm I'm gonna be doing videos on all the other cities uh, in Slovakia too, like the, all the main cities for each uh, of the eight regions. So um, it looks like there's a mall over that way. So uh, let's go check it out because I want to show. You guys like especially those like in the states um how nice uh, the malls can be and uh maybe you would think that like oh the mall in a place like you know called Slovakia, like it's not gonna be like very nice but um they can be well constructed and have a lot of nice shops and uh whatnot so let's go see what it looks like inside See, so there's places like this where it's like a cafe lounge, uh, which is neat. And there's uh, many stories to this mall. Um, I didn't realize like how big it was uh, from the outside. I didn't see uh, how tall it was, but um, there's gonna be familiar businesses like McDonald's. Uh, obviously we're not gonna be getting that, but McDonald's is everywhere. One thing that I will wanna do a short video on is um, a couple of the, uh, uh, McDonald's items that are unique to Slovakia or at least maybe Slovakian Czech Republic because there is a uh, Burger that is not uh, meat, but it's just a uh, fried cheese. So it's like a fried cheese burger. So kind of interesting 
Aha, uh -huh, and here's something very cool. Um, one of the many uh, crypto ATMs that are throughout the country. Um, I am also going to be doing uh, a video on this at some point when I have uh, s some money to put in it, but um, you can find the crypto ATMs, um, especially in malls and like some shopping centers, especially in, in Bratislava and some of the larger cities. Like there's a couple websites uh, that have like maps to where you can find them because there's like I think three to four different companies that have the crypto ATM. So that'll be for another video. Rolling, 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 keep them doggies going. So in the food port at the mall, there's a lot of normal places. Like you got like your different Asian foods. It's like quite common here. I'm not gonna get any food at the food court at the mall, but I'm actually gonna be going uh, to a restaurant that uh, it seems more like a local restaurant and the name is literally local. It's called local. So over at that restaurant, they have uh, more traditional Slovak food. So um, I think I know what I'm gonna get. I looked at their menu last night, so I'm not gonna be like, trying to figure out what I'm getting. So that's gonna be uh, good. But for now, let's uh, keep walking through the city and uh, check out more of Zielina. Well, I've had enough of the mall for now. <laughs> I uh, was thinking of getting some food. So we're gonna start to head over to that uh, restaurant that is literally called Local or Local. They have uh, a good, uh, it's a kind of a small selection of uh, dishes because they have, well, it's, it's a daily menu. So maybe they have more, but um, I think maybe I'll just get something from the daily menu and um, and we'll, let's, let's see what we get. So I have to find this place first. So let's go try to find it. So up there is some, uh, it looks like it's maybe the church or like a cathedral or something. Um, I don't know exactly what it is, but we'll get a closer look as we walk up this way through uh, the downtown area of Zielina. And that's something else that I like about, like not just Slovakia, but many cities in, uh, in Europe in general is there's a lot of these like walkways or hallways or corridors um, where the buildings are close together and uh, it's not really for cars, it's just for people walking, but it's, you know, spacious enough, but uh, it's, it's nice, it's kind of cozy feeling. And here it looks like another open square. Um, this isn't necessarily like the downtown downtown, but this is still like a downtown area. Uh, maybe they host events here, but uh, it looks like a nice place to come and relax um, if you're like here with friends or family or something like that. And uh, there's benches all over the place and you can definitely see the ice and snow on the benches. So it is, uh, as I said earlier, it's noticeably colder here than it is in Bratislava. Okay, and uh, Google Maps was just telling me to go left this way. Um, but also just take a moment to look at the, if you can see that, all right, um, look at the architecture and like the colors of the buildings. Like it has a very classical feel to it. And I'm not sure if you can see that, but it looks like, um, like a Christian figure uh, there holding a sword. So um, I definitely really enjoy like the architecture and the, the, the feel of the buildings here. Um, as I've like kind of stated, in a previous video in Bratislava, you kind of have a general mix of three kinds of architecture, like very, you know, like old classical, uh, then all the way up to like, you know, very modern, like just normal modern like buildings. In the middle of those two eras, uh, the 20th century buildings, many of which were uh, built during the communist eras. All right, so here it is, uh, Lokal right behind me. Um, they have traditional Slovak food, so let's just go inside and see what it's like and see what we can get to eat. Accept the uh, card? Yeah. Yeah, okay, okay. And uh, what would you like? 
it's also a soup, yeah? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And uh, uh -huh. chicken or chili con carne or... Uh, uh, chicken. Chicken, okay. Chicken. Yeah, and drink? Um, uh, mate a pivo. Uh, pivo. Alright, so I'm not sure if you heard any, any of that, but uh, in my broken Slovak and in English, I uh, ordered some food, so I'm going to get uh, chicken soup and a chicken dish and uh, a beer, <laughs> so that's going to be tasty, so so I'm just going to go ahead and show you the menu here, so they have like a daily menu, I'm not sure if you can see that too well, but then there's prices too. Okay, so here I got the first thing. I got my uh, chicken soup. So it's a nice uh, little chicken soup, uh, very classic. And let's go ahead and grab a spoon. And look at that classic chicken noodle soup. Oh man, I love it. Um, I know we have this obviously like, this is quite the universal soup. Like uh, we have it in the States and uh, it's like basically everywhere. Like everyone has their own version of chicken soup, but um, I like Slovak chicken noodle soup, it's very hearty. Mm -hmm. Cheers. Yakum. And also, a nice big beer. <laughs> Cheers. Oh yeah, definitely is like, a Czech or a Slovak beer. It's very tasty, very good. Oh, the soup is just so delicious. It's like, it's hot. It has chicken, noodles, carrots. It's, it's simple, but it's very cozy and comfy to eat. Okay, so obviously this place is called Lokal. Um, it's Wednesday, it's like about 12.30. And there's not too many people here, but um, uh, the food is so far very good. And it does seem like this is where like the locals would come. Maybe. Well, maybe the prices like aren't the best, but it's not really the worst either. Like uh, the dish that I got, it's uh, as little as 550 and is as large as 650. Uh, there's two sizes, large and extra large. Um, <clears throat> I didn't really specify with the gentleman uh, what size they'll be getting, but either one is going to be fine, I'm sure. Um, I don't need to eat a lot, but if a lot is thrown at me, I can eat a lot, so it'll work out. And so I got my food. Uh, here it is. It is um, chicken. I think that is uh, egg in it and uh, mashed potatoes, so it is going to be a very good meal. So I hope you guys can enjoy some Slovak food at some point. So I'm going to go ahead and enjoy this uh, Slovak food and this beer. It looks very delicious. Oh yeah, that looks good. It is very good. Wow, the consistency of the mashed potatoes is perfect. And let me try the chicken now. Mm -hmm. The chicken is very soft. It's still quite juicy. just finished it. Um, I ate it probably rather quick for the average person, but I can eat quick when the food is good like this. Um, it was excellent. Mashed potatoes and chicken, and the chicken had egg in it. It's really good. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and finish this beer, and uh, maybe I'll get dessert. Maybe we'll just walk around town a bit more, but we'll see. Okay, so I decided that I think I do have uh, a little bit of room to have like a small dessert. I don't want to get too many things or something too big. I saw that there's like a bakery uh, nearby here and um, oftentimes with like smaller shops, like smaller bakeries, um, they may not accept card. Uh, so I'm gonna go ask if they accept card and if they don't, then I still want to try this place. I'm gonna see if there's like an ATM nearby that I can find and then I'll go get something small here. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and ask if they have, uh, if they accept card and if they do, then I'll get something. Do you 
Okay, so they don't accept cards, so I'm gonna see if there's uh, an ATM nearby to where I can get cash and then go get a baked good. Okay, real quick while I'm trying to find the ATM for that bakery, uh, behind me is a Dirdolnik shop and I really wish Adsko was here with me because she likes Dirdolnik and they have Nutella, uh, Nutella Dirdolnik and I really enjoy Nutella so like that sounds like amazing. It sounds like super delicious but um, this is obviously is a uh, somewhat of a special day. I don't usually eat out and I don't usually eat like this so still got to find the uh, ATM for those sweets. All right, so I had to go into the mall to an ATM, so I got a little bit of cash, so now I'm gonna walk back to that bakery and uh, get some baked goods. All right, so I finally got back here. I have cash, so let's see uh, what I can get at a uh, Slovak bakery. <laughs> Dobrý den. Poprosím vás jenom ten myšňový s barohom a jeden ten pečenový s barohom. Dobrý den. Dobrý den. Um, uh, teraz mám hotovost, tak um, môžem poprosiť uh, 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 slivkový? Mm -hmm. A toto je všetko. Okay, so I, I only got one thing from there because, um, well, they had a few different uh, kinds, well, I guess sizes for their baked goods. So it was basically all, all golach or kolachik. And uh, it's not a cookie, it's like a it's like a type of Slovak, like, I don't know, it's kind of between a donut and just like kind of like a sweet bread or like baked baked bread. Um, but there was a couple that were for 250 and those had either just vegetables in it or chicken and vegetables in it. Then most everything else was two euros. That's what I got. I got um, a kolachik with plum. And then there was a few other things that were just one euro, but they were like smaller. But I just wanted to get the one thing. So let me take a moment to grab it so that I can show you. If I can get to it. So this is it. It is uh, plum. And uh, so it looks very uh, fatty and sugary. <laughs> But I'm gonna go ahead and try it. I'm gonna go uh, into the courtyard here and try it. All right, again, so a quick look. Look at that. It looks really good. Now let's try it. Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. It's very good. It's like, it's sweet, but it's not like overly sweet. Like um, a lot of desserts, especially like American d desserts can be with like way too much uh, sugar. This is like sweet, but it's, it's not overwhelming. This is really tasty. So there's not just plum on top, but it's also is inside. This is like really good. This was um, two euros. This is like really big. If you were hungry and had a sweet tooth, you could probably just get this and be fine. Like you won't be hungry anymore. Like this is pretty freaking big. Tasty too. I'm surprised at how, how good this is. It's very satisfying. I think I'm gonna take a moment to just sit down and appreciate this. So give me a moment. Now just look at that. This is such a hearty dessert. Extremely filling, really good. Sugary, but not too, too sugary to make you grossed out. And I probably have some on my face, but it is oh so good. Mm-hmm. Well, that uh, dessert was very good. Uh, also the food and the beer earlier, and it was nice to be able to, uh, to get on the train and then come here to Jelena just to see the downtown area and whatnot. But um, 
definitely uh, let me know if you liked this video um, and maybe for uh, th those Slovaks that might be watching, let me know if there's anything that I may have missed that you wanted me to go see or wanted to show you because this video was something of just like a casual trip uh, to Zielina. Now, I know that there is a castle to see here and uh, there may be other historical monuments to see here, but I kind of just wanted this video to be just a very casual like trip to the downtown area and to show people what like their first impression of the city might be. So um, definitely let me know if there's more to see because uh, we can always come again next time. And let me know down in the comment section uh, what you thought of the video, like what did you like? Um, did I miss something? Uh, do you think you'd enjoy the food? Do you think uh, you'd enjoy the city? Uh, things like that. So um, I'm gonna be heading back home now. I have a lesson with a student that's a little bit later today, so I wanna make sure that I'm not late for that. So thank you guys for watching. If you haven't subscribed already, uh, consider subscribing, and I will see you guys on the next video. Have a good one. Just a quick reminder that this is the first video of a series that I'm going to be doing where I visit um, all eight of the large cities or regions of uh, Slovakia. So each region is named after a different city. So this is uh, the city of Zielina and I'm, we're in the Zielina region. So I've got seven more videos like this to do, but these are kind of a lot of work. It's a lot of footage to go through and a lot of editing. So. Uh, I might do these at the very least just once a month, so stay tuned for another video like this that's going to be done in February. But in the meantime, I'm still going to be posting uh, other videos related to Slovakia and my stay here. So again, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.